What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business, like the founders of P90X, Atari, Baby Einstein. Lindsay also knows Julie Clark, founder of Baby Einstein, and Julie not only talked about how she built up a $20 million business within five years, but also beat cancer twice. Uh, our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm very excited. We have Lindsay Lorraine. She's founder of Easy Peasy. That's E Z. PZ, where she's created silicone placemat products that suctions to the table, like the Happy Mat. If anyone has kids, they know it can be an absolute mess uh, at mealtimes. Yes. Um, so she makes it easy. We'll talk about that. And after leaving, you know, leaving corporate America, she built Easy Peasy into a multi-million dollar business in a short time. She's been featured on the hit TV show Shark Tank. Uh, she does all of this while raising her three wild boys and I guess four if you count your husband. Lindsay, thanks for yes. joining me. Uh, good good one, yes. He's being super bad today, though, and taking them to school. <laughs> That's and does perfect. Talk. <laughs> you know, thank you. I appreciate oh it. Oh, my gosh. And thank you for having me. So when does Shark Tank come into play? Why, like, What was the decision uh, to go on Shark Tank? I could tell you another great story if you go wanted ahead. to hear. Shoot. Do you want yeah. to hear another one? Just and then yeah. I got to plug in my computer, too. I love sharing these stories because I don't get to tell anyone them to anyone. But this is actually a really crazy story. And this is the stuff where I'm like, this, this should be a movie. So um, let me get to see my house. We get the grand uh, tour. We get the grand tour. It's in shambles. Oh, um, so this story is probably the most, the, the craziest story out of all of them. And it, it, it's going to go into Char Tank um, or is somewhat relative. So we launch... Uh, in September, October, 2014, right? And I, no, November of that year. So two months after we launch, I get a note. I'm at a, I'm, at, I'm just, I'm just telling you the whole story. Do you, yeah. have, and do you have time for this right now? I have. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Yes. Cause you're getting like the like story that no one ever gets of like the, the backstory to just understand the emotional. These are the best. Yeah. These are the best stories. If you have time, emotion. I have time. Yeah. yeah. I am going to have to get going after this. Um, so we, uh, we are at a park. I'm at a park with my kids. I just remember this perfectly. And I get an email and it's like, Hey, I think, you know, I got my, from my brother. He's like my brother, my mom's a kid. I played soccer with his mom's friend. You know, one of those random people got an email and says, it looks like your kids and it looks like your product. Um, and I get the email. I'm like, Holy shit. I'm like, it's Brody, it's my son, it's our product, the Happy Mad, and the logos weren't even chopped out of it. But it's our Kickstarter video with, it's all black and white, with me all in the background, and it's all voiced over. So it's like, are you sick of spilt milk? And it's me pouring, but it's someone else's voice, right? Totally photoshopped the video. And um, and then it's like, order your mat. It's a, it's a uh, direct response. So if you've seen like Snuggies, which actually is a company that knocks people off every second. My friend's going through it right now. Really? Um, so I get this and I'm like, holy, oh my God, what's going on, right? And this is like a, a month after we launched, right? So I wasn't expecting this. So I get home, you know, I'm frantic. We find the people on the internet, the server. This is just all a great story. So we, we're, we reach out to like the server people. And I'm like, hey, this is my company. This is my product. This is my kid. You guys got to shut down this website. They reply literally with the person's name, uh, phone number, email, who built out the sites, right? They're like, this is the person behind it, and we'll shut it down. So they shut down the site. They gave me this person's name. I, I will refrain from saying his name on the show. I look it up. He's pictured with Kevin Harrington, as seen on Shark Tank, all over. He is pictured, this person, on the set of Shark Tank with people, right? 
I'm like, is this real? Right? It gets crazier. So I get this guy's phone number. I have a 20 What was he trying to do? Well, essentially, they hired this agency called LifeScript. Like you could find them on Facebook. They have like millions of followers. And sent out an email to thousands of people to see how many people would test and click and buy. Ah. A fake ad with our product. And it was called the Silly Mat, not the Happy Mat. Right. Then they were going to make a commercial. They were going to make a direct response commercial that said, are you sick of your mat? Da, da, da. So they, did, they were doing this market test, which is how we got the email that they never thought we would get ever, ever, ever in a trillion years. Then they were doing this commercial, never thought we would see the website. They would have swapped out all the pictures. Um, oh, but wow. We, so I've got, I've got a phone call, a 20 minute phone call of this guy that's been pictured with all these people, you know, just like, I'm sorry, everyone's hands been slapped and da, da, da. And just never, you know, they think this is like a mom that has no idea what they're doing. Right. And we're going to, so they were commercial. testing the idea to knock it off. Is that what they yeah. were? Yeah. And they, they were going to make it, they would have done a commercial. And then next thing I know, I would have been, you know, it would have been the silly mat. Wow. On TV. Wow. And so at that time, though, right, that was a scary time because we didn't have a design pad or a utility pad. So it was literally like we can't do anything. Um, and so we called the guy and he took it down. He never did anything. And we never filed a lawsuit or did anything. So he's still floating around and just I've never done anything. I mean, when I was on Shark Tank, it wasn't aired. I, I did say that, though. I was like, I've been pictured here, you know, with people that have st- stood on the set, um, you know, and knocked me off. But But at the end of the day, I think... And I realized this. So did you then decide I want to go on Shark Tank then? That, that had nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, okay. That, that was more of just I was giving you when I was on Shark Tank set. Yeah. I gave that story of like counterfeit issues are real. Yeah. I have been, you know, someone knocked us off that it was actually pictured with you guys here. Right, right. Um, and so, but I think, you know, and I think um, even me, I think I had a glimpse of even – even that, like through this whole thing, you think someone, there's like this authoritative figure, right? That has some, your better interest in mind or it's like, whether it's with food you're eating or the legal system and it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Right. But it's, <laughs> and that's the shitty you're part. You're not hardened. Right. You've been, right? No, no yeah. one's looking out for you. No one cares if this person knocked me off or no one cares. I mean, it's just, no one, no one cares what poison's being put in your body. No one's watching out. There's, I mean, it's, so it is, it's like really, it's been a very eye opening experience on a trillion fronts. And so, and my whole thing is eventually I want to bring awareness to this, right? I want this to be like, I, I've got all these women and these small businesses and sharing these stories. So just the consumers become more educated, right? Yeah. And so if a consumer looks and says, what, what, who made this product or this, this is sketchy. Right. Like that's my next mission in life is bringing more awareness to the right. whole small business side right. of the business. It's crazy. So I know we're about out of time, even though this could go for another five hours. Um, yeah. what, tell me before and after Shark Tank. Yeah. So Shark Tank, um, so Shark Tank in, in, in all honesty, we, you know, I wasn't sure if Shark Tank was the right forum for us. And I, and I was very vocal about that with the Shark Tank folks um, in the sense of I, and we went on Shark Tank and, and again, this was all communicated. We didn't necessarily need help in the baby space. Um, we, and we didn't really need money for that matter. Right. So we, we are self-funded, but now we're cash flow positive. You know, we were, we had, a, you know, we, it's been great. We're, we're a small team still, and I think we're going to do seven to eight million this wow. year. Congratulations! And so, um, and so when we went, so when I went on Shark Tank, we, you know, I, I told them we don't really need money. We don't need anything in the baby space. You know, we know bye bye baby. We know all these people, but there's all these other opportunities for Easy Peasy licensing. There is a huge licensing opportunity, huge Mickey Mouse, Yoda. I mean, medical, all these offshoots. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then there's also like pets, right? So pets, all these other markets, and then you could put Disney, Nickelodeon, whatever. Yeah. So that's what, and I'm not an expert in those, those areas, right? Well, I guess Julie's the person to talk to, right? Yeah. From, no. the, from the Disney front. <laughs> no, that definitely wasn't going anywhere no. with that conversation. Yeah. Um, and so I went on, that was my, you know, why we went on. And then we went in with a high valuation. We, we knew that, yeah. um, but 
I definitely, you know, usually when people do see the product, it is like everyone's lifting tables and it's this whole. So I was definitely expecting more of like, wow, this is an awesome product. You're gonna, you're changing lives and this could change the world. But instead it was all financial. Like you're insane with this valuation. Da, da, da. And it was, and it was more of like, um, you know, I had a bad interview once, uh, an interview with a, a gentleman who, no matter what I said, I, I could have been the president of the United States and it didn't matter. You know what I mean? It just, just didn't matter. Right. It's kind of That's how the it, way it felt. Oh, just, I mean, in this one particular interview, I'll never forget. I got something out of my book and this guy rolled his eyes. And I said, I'm like, you, you just rolled your eyes at me and you have no idea what I'm getting out of my book. Literally. literally. And I said that to the guy in the interview. I still got the job, which is crazy. Um, but it was like that, right? Like you don't even know what I'm going to say and you're already rolling your eyes at me. Like, well, cause you also don't know, like from the audience perspective, you know, I'm sure that lasted for an hour or two hours, but they yes. only clip minutes. So you don't know if they're clipping the parts that are the most controversial or whatever the case is, you know? Yeah, I definitely, um, you know, I wasn't necessarily thinking about that out there. I was thinking, holy shit, this is not going the way I anticipated at all. Um, and this is just not right culturally. I mean, that was my main thing is like, I, like our, our team is so small. There's six of us. We talk all the time and culturally, I don't want you guys involved, you know, like just so that, that was the, really a main thing. And then just the way it, it all kind of went down, it wasn't the right fit. Right. Um, you know, but then, it, so I, yeah, I got off and then that's pretty much it though. If you don't take a deal. I mean, the... But there was um, a positive side of things, right? I mean, it, did it make people more aware? Did it drive sales oh my afterwards? Gosh, yes, yes, yes. I would do it all over again. I mean, for me emotionally, it was a hard 48 hours after. And that's the hard part I struggle with. Like when people are like, oh, I saw you on Shark Tank. I'm like, oh, God, you had to watch that. You know, versus being like, yeah, it was great. Like I don't need to let everyone know that it was – that's my It was experience. painful for you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but hands down, but it was – Phenomenal. I mean, just from um, brand recognition and pulling it through, you know, sales and um, and the community, the Shark Tank entrepreneur community that we have. You know, now I'm speaking. We just spoke a few weeks ago with um, some other folks. We we're on a panel together. And so then we get to meet and we've got this whole relationship and community of entrepreneurs. Yeah. So, Lindsay, I know you have to go, and I, I really appreciate your time. This is phenomenal. No, it's been fun. I figure we end with just a few tools, software you use to run the business. Like, I don't know what, um, you know, as far as the, the shopping cart or software yep. platform or what, what, what tools, software yeah. do you use? Um, another thing, too, is I would advise to entrepreneurs is to choose softwares and platforms all correctly. Um, and we did that from the start. We wanted a foundation that was all, um, you know, very cloud based, but all just very efficient. Again, we're very small yeah. and and I want to keep it small. I never had a I, my goal was never to, to run an empire and, you know, manage hundreds of people. Um, I work with my best friends <clears throat> to backstory to this to the software. Yeah. When I had the idea, we taped the bullets a piece of paper. I emailed my friends. It says big dreams. And the email is just a terrible email, but it's like, I've got this idea and I think it could be big. If I work, if we, if we do this, I want to work with our best friends. Yeah. You know, this is the dream. Can we all work together? And now we all work together. They're wow. like my two other right hand. That's amazing. Women. Right. So we, I mean, our team is awesome. And so, um, we have really efficient kind of back end systems. So, for example, we use Big Commerce is our, our back end okay. website. Yep, yeah. most. They've been great. We haven't had any issues. <clears throat> and then all of our um, retailers, our independents, order online through Big Commerce. And they mm. order and we, we require a credit card for our independents, which is a little bit different, I think, where society's going, um, but not net 30 and POs. And so, again, right. Right, you take away 800 people that would be sending in like POs paper, and you make them order online. It it creates a very efficient, more effect. efficient, yeah. I mean, it's so logical. Yeah. Um, and so that's how we kind of do the ordering shopping cart. We back we used uh, Big Commerce and then Stripe um, as our shopping cart, and mm -hmm. then QuickBooks. QuickBooks Online has been phenomenal. Yeah. So they were we were not only from a they manage all of our stuff, but from a small business, they're huge small business advocates. Yeah. 
supporters. And so yeah, we you were, have an interview, I think, at the, some QuickBooks conference, I believe, like QuickBooks Connect or something. You saw that. Yes. Yeah. So that, well, and this was crazy. So QuickBooks, that was for their top 10. Um, they did a top 10 for a Super Bowl contest. So 15,000 businesses applied. They... Um, we were in top, we were top 15. No, we were top 10 out of the 15,000. Wow. Which was huge. And so that's, we were last year, we were there for the top 10. Yeah. We ended up not getting it, which sucked. But they, QuickBooks reached out and said, hey, we love your story. We want to, we want to produce a commercial on your story. That's awesome. And, and it gets better. They came, so they came last December, shot a commercial for us for three days in one of the commercials, there's a little boy with Down syndrome in it. I mean, they're just awesome people, awesome business. And then they aired that commercial all year. It's been airing on like Hulu and CBS. Wow. But then no joke, it gets better. They switched it to broadcast in this election. That commercial aired on CBS, um, CNN, Fox News, CNBC. I mean, every – I've gotten time. More, yeah. I've gotten more messages and notes and wow. stuff. From it's still airing right now. amazing. Um, and so that's been awesome. So QuickBooks for our, our, all, all financials. And then that's really it though. We use Square, you know, for some of the credit card stuff. I've just started using Evernote to just, I'm trying to keep better, better. Um, I do want to do a documentary or we have so much good footage and what about for like keeping track of inventory? Great question. We use big commerce a little bit and we were using stitch labs for a while which is mm-hmm. like a third party mm-hmm. um facilitator but we don't mm-hmm. do that anymore because mm-hmm. i'll spare you the details yeah. of like just amazon it was amazon and we shipped direct yeah. to amazon so i may have a good solution for you on that so yeah yeah so i'll tell you about that there's a yeah there's a software scubana that is um kind awesome. of fits that that gap but yeah cool send it over um uh, any other questions? No. I mean, I have a million questions, but I know you have to go. So thank you so much. Um, everyone should go to easypeasyfun.com. Anywhere else we should send people, Lindsay, online to check out the happy mats, the flower play mats, the happy bowls, the pet mats, uh, or whatever else. Well, Ono is coming. So Ono is the pet brand. That's Ono Friends oh, no. is the website. Okay. Yep. Oh, O-N-O. And it's and it's friends. So Ono Friends is the website. Okay. And then I would say, yeah, just anywhere you're out and about and all we ask is, you know, help spread the easy peasy love. And if you if any entrepreneurs are listening, um, you know, I would just say follow your dreams yeah. and let me know if you have any questions. I love helping yeah. and if anyone has gotten it. to this point, it it's they've gotten amazing gems out of this. So oh, thank you. Thank this you. Is phenomenal. Well, let's do it again for sure. Uh, you know, I will. I will go deep. So ah, I love it. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank I appreciate you. it. It's been fantastic. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand right now. I'm feeling.